Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone on Facebook. I hope you guys are having a great, great morning this morning. Hey, listen, I want to share my heart with you this morning. I truly believe God has a word in store for someone. Um, but if you're reading uh, your Bibles this morning, I want you to go with me to the book of Mark chapter 4. And in there is a very familiar scripture. We know it. We've heard about it. We've probably preached about it. And uh, I truly believe this is what the Lord wants to speak to everyone who watches this video this morning. But this is what it says in Mark chapter 4, of uh, verse 39 through 40. And it says, And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? Speak, Lord, for your servants are listening. Uh, really quick, guys, I actually want to talk to you from this little topic that, you know, I was just <laughs> dabbling about yesterday. But I want to give you this, this devotional this morning. The missing piece is peace. You know, I, I truly believe that when we're crying to God and when God allows us to, um, you know, God, God allows us and has given us the opportunity to seek him in spirit and in truth and to cry out to him. But I truly believe if you cry out enough to him, he's going to awake and he's going to silence your storm. You, you see, they were in the story and I don't have time to get into it. They were trying to get to the other side. And when the, when they woke up, God, when they woke up Jesus and Jesus just told the storm to calm down. That is a very powerful picture for all of us there, because I believe that we're going through a storm right now. There are certain things that we're enduring. There are certain things that we're facing. There are certain things that have us bound and chained up and afraid. I want to ask you, what is your storm this morning? Or what has been your storm this morning? It is in God's will for him to give us peace. You see, our whole life right now, our whole world right now needs peace. We're going through a big storm right now with the virus. We're going through a big storm with finances. Maybe you're going through a storm right now. It, it, it can it, it probably wouldn't even be the virus or it probably wouldn't even be um, um, finances. Maybe you're going through a storm of depression. Maybe you're going through a storm of anxiety, of worry. Maybe you're facing marriage problems. Maybe you're facing sexual temptation, sexual problems. And you're wondering, why is it? Why is it that I am going through this storm? You know, I truly believe that storms help us to grow stronger. But an indication of a storm only means you're about to cross over to the other side. Can I be honest with you? There's been some times where I'm about to face something. Uh, I'm about, I know I'm going to get a breakthrough. But in order for me to get to that breakthrough, I had to first go through a storm. Now, I know they stink. We don't like storms. But can I tell you something is that the storms are made that you were made to last the storm. Why? Because you have someone in your life that not many people do. And that is Jesus. Jesus is in your boat. Whatever your storm may be, I would like to tell you that you need to start allowing God to speak peace in your storm. Like I said in the title, the missing piece for you to go to the other side is peace. I love what John 14, 26, 27 says, but it says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you to remembrance of all that I have said to you. God has already given us power. He's already given us a promise and he's going to remind you of his promises. But I love what verse 27 says, peace, I leave you. My peace I give to you, the Lord says, not as the world gives you, not, not as the world gives you, as I do I. But it also says, let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The world may give us a peace, but it is a peace that will never align with God's will. That peace is only temporary when God's peace is eternal. You see, that peace is the Holy Spirit. And God will never allow you to walk through a situation without the Holy Spirit. Because the Bible says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. 
You see, guys, whenever we're going through a situation, I want to remind you that when you need peace, just call on the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will give you the peace that you need, the peace that you desire, the peace that you've been praying for because the Holy Spirit is here. Fear go, Holy Spirit, come in Jesus' name. And the Holy Spirit will always go before you. It's like I said this one time, before you even wake up tomorrow, Holy Spirit already stepped in. Oh, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Before you woke up today, the Holy Spirit already stepped into your tomorrow. John 16, 33 says, I have said these things to you that in me, not in man, not in your friends, not in your addictions, not in your situations, but it says, I have said these things to you that in me, me being Jesus, you have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, which we're going through right now almost. But he also says, but take heart. I have overcome it all. I've overcome the world. In him, we have peace. Not in man, not in politics, not in media, not in drugs and alcohol and sexual sins, but we have peace in God. When you understand and place your trust and your hope in him, then you will understand that you have overcome it all because God has given us peace. A peace, it says in Philippians chapter four, verse six and seven, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. His peace will not only cover your understanding, but that things that aren't, um, that things that bother your peace, that things that bring calamity to your understanding, the things that rob you, rob your heart of peace. God says he's gonna give your heart assurance and he's gonna give it peace. And it's a peace that passes all understanding. But watch this, as I close with this, in Isaiah 26, three, it says, you keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. This morning, I want to ask you and I want to remind you. Well, I want to ask you first, have you trusted God through everything that's going on right now? You need peace. We all need peace. But in order for us to have peace, like the scripture says, we need to put our trust in him. Put your hope and trust in him. Not just today, but every day. The more trust you put in him, the more peace he's going to give you. And I want to remind you. That in order for you to be where you're at, God is saying the one thing that you are missing out of a lot of things, but the one peace that you're missing is my peace. The peace of the Holy Spirit, the peace of the Father, the peace of the Son, knowing that everything is going to be okay. When you have peace for today, you will be able, you will be able to have peace that your future is going to be okay. It's going to be the best, but also you will have peace that your past has already been covered by the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, take this word. I truly believe that God wanted to speak on peace and I firmly agree, but let me bless you. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way, according to 2 Thessalonians 3, 16. Father, bless everyone who's watching this video. I pray that you would cover them. You would give them their peace, their desires, what they need, God, I ask you that you would strengthen them, that you would abide in them because they're abiding in you this morning. I ask, but your perfect will be done in their life. In Jesus' name we pray. Speak, Lord, for your servants are listening because there is no other spirit but the Holy Spirit that is welcome in their life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, I love you all. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do me a favor. I'm only promoting the gospel. I am not in no way, shape, or form promoting myself. If you know that someone needs to hear this message on peace, share it. Send it to someone saying, hey, listen, there's a message on peace. Um, be adamant about being in his word, though, uh, as I post all those scriptures on, on the video. But I love you guys. God bless you. And y'all have a great, great Wednesday.